All right, what is up? Welcome back to another video. I have a Spotmatic I'm working on. Just gonna disregard that. So this video is kind of important and a little bit last minute because I forgot to record a video for today. It's kind of a special day. It's a leap, leap day, leap year day or whatever. It's an extra day, an additional day to the year. So I hope you spent it wisely. I did not, I worked, which was foolish of me, um, but let's get into it. So a couple of things I wanna note. Last week's video, the news video, I was talking about the Ferrania news and I was kind of incorrect because it just turned out it was actually uh, P33. But I have that here now. I would like to point out a couple of things. One, I was partially, partially correct because the red lettering here kind of plays into the red thing. So I was kind of going down the right path, relatively speaking. That is a big cope, um, but still, the film is here. Second thing I want to talk about is I actually got two rolls of it, and this is what they look like. Now this is just a little uh, memo and or word to the wise. If you are thinking of like, oh, I want to buy from Ferrania, I recommend you do so. I think they're a great company and I'm happy to support them. However, um, this is how the film shows up. Excuse me, I am, my throat is unclear. I'm in a rush to make this video. I'm in the middle of trying to brew some like throat coat tea so I can hopefully help that. Uh, but we're just gonna power through. So it was, it's been really rainy up here the last couple of days and this package was outside. DHL delivered it in like this kind of papery cardboard quasi thing, uh, envelope basically, completely soaked the bone. This was inside, no other box, nothing like that, which is fine because you don't really need this to be in like mint condition. Now, if I wanted to make like a video of this film, which I would like to do, it's a little bit tricky to do so. I can still make it work, but you know, not the best. So it's a little bit you know, that's just how it is. That's that's how the last film I got from them was. That's how the first rolls of film I got from them was. It just looks like the people that were shipping it are like in the process of trying out for the World Rugby League or whatever, soccer, football thing, whatever. And also Ferrani's packaging skills leave a little bit to be desired because in that same vein, I also got some Reflex Lab film. I got the, the 200 stuff, and I got another roll of the 800 tungsten for an upcoming project that I'm really excited about. I got these and the light meter. They were in a separate little box all together, nestled up with, uh, with bubble wrap and everything, like perfect condition. And honestly, the more I've like messed with the Reflex Lab products, the more excited I am about them and the more highly I speak of them. Like I, I really, can't recommend these enough. Um, I don't know like a lot about the company. So like, you know, there could be some like moral quandary about it, but honestly, for the most part, if you are thinking about buying like 800 speed tungsten balance film, I definitely recommend this. I think it's just a better product, much more affordable. The packaging I think is cooler. And then also the best thing is, straight out the box, we got the old metal canister. And I just think that that is pretty next level. Like that's that's a really nice addition overall to the package. And I'm like really, really, really excited to shoot with the P33 to try that out. But I just wanna like continue to point out that like the overall presentation of this and the reception of receiving this makes me more excited to shoot with this. Very, very excited to shoot with this. But you know, it's, it looks, banged up. It's kind of, you know, kind of a generic canister. We open it up. I don't have this. It's a metal film canister. Okay. That's actually pretty fucking cool. That's cool. Damn it. This video's stupid. Okay. That is, uh, that, that, I mean, that looks pretty slick. <laughs> that looks good. I love that red. That red looks good. Okay. Anyway, very excited to shoot with this film. It's a completely different product but just the packaging and the delivery methods are, they couldn't be more different. And I find that to be funny. 
Next up on this random video, I have a package to open. I've not done an unboxing video in a while because I've tried not to buy as much shit, but I could not resist. This deal was too good and I was already pretty far into the auction, so I wanted to actually win it, and I did. And for my efforts, I received... What? That ain't right. What? What the fuck? <laughs> I got... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? I literally... I bought this lot because it had... Uh, three... Let me, let me... What the fuck? PC 35AF in two K1000s with 50 millimeter lens, okay? One K1000, okay? Oh yeah, 50 millimeter lens, I guess. Uh, it's a super Takamar, super yellowed optic. A Spotmatic, <laughs> which it was nowhere in the order, <laughs> with another 51.4 that's chewed up. <laughs> what the fuck? What? At first I thought it was like, you know, I got four cameras for the price of three, but no, I just got the wrong order. Just completely got the wrong order. That, what the hell? That's, that is like my biggest fear. It's like, oh, I'm gonna buy the wrong thing or like put the wrong thing in, in the packaging. But this is just straight up not at all what I got. That's awesome. I guess that, you know, listen. <clears throat> this is the honest reflection that I needed to say, hey, stop buying stuff. Cause I didn't really need, I don't need this stuff. I really don't. But um, I was like, oh, two K1000s. That'd be sweet to have, but this is broken. It's the wrong piece. So that's sick. Like that's not at all accurate. I don't, how is this even put on there? This is completely destroyed. Ah, what a waste. Focus screen is thrashed. It looks like it was attacked by a wild animal. Molds encrusting going on there. What the fuck? All right, well now I gotta deal with eBay, so that's gonna be sick. Oh yeah, and then I got some other fucking film. Whatever, it's stupid. Not even worth talking about. I got some, I'll just talk about it because we're here already. This is just now becoming a disappointing unboxing. And yeah, the fucking K1000's broken as shit. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I mean, it, you know, serves me right, I suppose. Alright, so I got two rolls of Kent Mir film to hopefully incentivize me to shoot 120 more. I got this roll of Wolfen film. Um... Filmotech, Wolfen, P400, it's black and white film. Still trying to support Wolfen. Maybe they'll pay me, who knows? And then I got this because I heard that it was new-ish film, C41 process. That's positive. It's right out of the, right out of the can, really dusty. Um, C41 processed 800 speed film so the presumption would be that it could be you know old um uh whatever kodak 800 film or whatever just recanned into this or something like that i'm not sure the packaging kind of leaves a lot to be desired um it's very confusing but it's interesting and uh i'm excited to give it a give it a shot i'm kind of pissed about this whole situation though. No, this is just gonna become a gripe session. What a, <laughs> what a time to be alive, okay? I, I really wanted one of these. And I was like, oh shoot, there's two K1000s included with it. That's sweet. I mean like good condition. I and mean, these aren't even, this isn't even the right camera. 
Like, neither of these are the right camera. It, you know, be cool to get the stuff. If not, you know, that's, that's how it is. That's my sign. That right there, that's the sign. Happy leap year, happy leap day. I'm done buying stuff. I have enough. I'm gonna start fixing more things, selling more things. I'm finally in a new spot here. <clears throat> you can't see the new desk, but I can tell you it is immaculate. Uh, we'll have a news video out next week. I'm hoping to release some other videos as well. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Go out there, buy some Reflex Labs film. Buy some Wolfen film. Buy some Ferrania film. Support these smaller film creators out there. They are the best. I, I think Reflex Lab is pretty big. So support these two guys because that's that may, they make me happy. And at the end of the day, um, that's what it really matters is my happiness. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. I already went through this, but I'm going to say it again. I hope you like the new angle as well. I got a new rigging setup for my camera, for the lights, for the audio. So I'm hoping that works out. If not, I'll have to record this again, which is going to be hell on my throat, but we'll see what we can do. So thank you very much. And I will uh, catch you on the next one.